Welcome to Bumpyisms. I am downtown Concord, the state capital of New Hampshire. Uh, this uh, video is uh, possible because of King Cobra, so definitely check him out on the YouTubes. Uh, today, it's a fat boy day. I'm gonna go around different pizzerias in Concord and uh, try to grab some slices. All right. First place, I'm checking out Sour Joe's Pizzeria. They make uh, sourdough pizzas, so let's head on inside. Okay, so turn the AC down. Went back to my car. It was uh, a very small place at Sour Joe's, uh, and it was crowded. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not really a uh, public uh, recorder, so. I'm uh, back in my car now, but I did buy a slice. It's called the Fungi 2.0, and it, ooh, they put it in this little to-go box for me. That's what this slice looks like. Nice sourdough bread. Definitely smell that sourdough. Uh, so the Fungi, it's got house roasted mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, uh, caramelized onions, and then it has a lemon aioli sauce. So I don't think there's any sauce underneath the cheese. It's just that drizzle that they put on top. But yeah, nice uh, nice little place. Uh, I think they're fairly new here in Concord. And uh, they had a pizza I saw afterwards. Um, that I probably actually, I probably would have bought that. Um, it was a, a uh, Euro style pizza, so I love Euros. But let's go ahead and try this one here. Absolutely delicious. You gotta, uh, you gotta love mushrooms, but yeah, those mushrooms are very nice. Good crunch to that uh, sourdough as well. Got some of those uh, caramelized onions there. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a nice pizza. Um, it's definitely different. Uh, it's a sourdough, and uh, it's like no like pizza sauce on it. So I'm almost like a flatbread uh, type style. But yeah, a nice kind of light, fluffy sourdough. All right, last bite of this one and uh, be moving on to the next place. And each place I go to, I will leave a link to the, uh, the pizza places uh, website. So if you are in the Concord, New Hampshire area, um, visiting or living around here, uh, check out any one of these places. There's many, many pizza places around here. I'm only only hitting up a few, trying to get the ones that actually give out slices instead of whole pies. So, cheers. All right, so a little damper in the plans. The uh, second place I was gonna go to is uh, closed today. Uh, that was Sal's Pizza. Uh, this place looks like it's open, at least their neon lights are on. We are here at Vinny's Pizzeria. It's in Concord, they're open. I like the uh, exterior of the building. Step back. It's got that like New York style like slice. All right, let's go get a slice. Okay, so yeah, the uh, they do slices, they're shorthanded today, but uh, I ordered a cheese slice and it had just, just been taken out of their oven. It looks like pepperoni, but it's cheese. Just got the blisters that popped. So extremely hot, I'm not even gonna attempt to eat that right now. I think I will go ahead and take this one home and eat it there. Smells good. All right, so I'm back home, but that does not mean this will be the last pizza, um, just the last single slice. Unfortunately, like, um, 
sales was closed. That was one of the stops I was planning because I know that they do slices. And I've eaten at sales before and I like their pizza a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, let's check out uh, this slice I got here. It's a, it's a decent size. Um, it's kind of stuck to the, I'm gonna have to be right back. Yeah, so there you go. Look at that slice right there. It's plain cheese. Uh, seems to have cooled off enough on the ride home. Let's take a bite. Saucy. Definitely a bendy crust on this one. Uh, good seasonings in it. Greasy. And this is from uh, Vinny's Pizzeria in Concord. It's got a good amount of cheese on it. Not a bad slice. Nice thin crust on the edge, the outer edge. Let's take a bite of that. A little bit more crispiness to it on the outer edge there. Um, yeah, so like I said, be a special pie coming up later on. Next, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Finish this one up and uh, get to see that next pie. It's gonna be a whole pie. All right, the specialty pie has arrived. This comes from Constantly Pizza out of the Concord, New Hampshire area. That's the address, phone number right there. Uh, so yeah, if you uh, like what you see here and you're around this location, uh, that's the place to go. They also have one in Tennecook. Uh, so, what makes this one so special is KC, King Cobra, it's originally from Chicago. <laughs> and uh, trying to find a pizza that would best suit KC was very difficult here in New Hampshire. Um, this is the only location that I saw on their menu that they had a Chicago style pizza. So. This one is called the Capone, and the delivery guy, when he just delivered it, was like, wow, you ordered the Capone, this thing's a monster. It's, like, it's so good though. $33 for this pizza, let's see what it looks like. Oh God. This thing's like five pounds too, it was heavy. Oh, just look at that. Maybe not quite Chicago. I mean, it's got the cheese on top. I think the Chicago pizzas typically have just sauce on there, but damn. Oh, taking toppings off. This thing has, oh, what, what is on this thing? Pepperoni. There is sausage. There's Canadian ham, uh, peppers, onions, t tomato sauce, obviously, under there. Um, loaded with cheese and uh, I think I'm missing something. Oh, meatballs, house made meatballs. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat all of this tonight for sure. This is gonna be my dinner. This is probably gonna be a snack later on after drinking. And then uh, it's probably gonna be breakfast and lunch tomorrow as well. This thing was heavy to carry into the house, so. All right, let's get set up and try a slice of this. Might have to get a fork. All right, so we got one slice out. I, did, I used a fork to lift this puppy. But yeah, look at the uh, look at that. It's, it's thick. It smells fantastic. Looks great. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know. I've ordered pizza from Constantly before. I didn't even know they had a Chicago style. I'm not sure if this is new. Um, but damn. All right. Uh, other than, other than uh, the um, constantly pizza, I mean, we do have an Uno's pizzeria around here. But yeah. It's just loaded. 
absolutely loaded. It doesn't even want to stay on the fork. It's too too much for the fork. All right, here we go. Let's take a bite. Yeah. Just yes. Now, those uh, those of you that are familiar with Chicago style pizzas, or you know, you live in Chicago, whatever, KC. Um, I mean, you can kind of decipher whether or not this true Chicago style or not. Like I said, usually I think the Chicago style is more sauce on top with the the toppings and all the cheese is underneath. But still. You guys got thin crust out there too. I know that. All right, let's try to just lift this up. So this is one heavy slice. This is this is a meal. I mean, huge, huge peppers, everything. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Totally loaded with like sausage and stuff underneath all this cheese, um, onion there. It's greasy. It's delicious. Mm. Better look at the inside of that thing. Oh my god, it all fell out. This is like, uh, it's like eating a lasagna with your hands. You gotta take a bite of that thick crust, let's go. Um, That's just so much, so much bread, so much dough there. Need a, uh, a marinara sauce on the side. I think they should start doing that. So you can dip the crust in. This is definitely, <laughs> this is definitely a filling pizza for sure. Feed like the whole neighborhood. Just put some more toppings on there that fell off. One thing I forgot to grab was a napkin. Um, this is an absolute monster. Uh, whether done right or not, as a Chicago style, this is a, a great pizza. Um, so, just to uh, conclude this video, Today, each, each of the pizza places that I did hit, they were all different styles. Uh, each one of them is very great in their own way. This is a good way to, to, just, finish, to just finish everything off here. And um, yeah, uh, like I said, there'll be a link to each one of these places I, I got pizza from today uh, to their websites in the description. Uh, also link to King Cobra's channel Check him out. Very uh, gracious uh, gentleman there, and uh, owe him a big thank you. Uh, a lot of gratitude towards him, uh, and uh, appreciate it very much. Thank you all for watching, and I just hope you enjoyed this little different side of, uh, of bumpyisms. All right, let's take a. Big bite of that.